Wow, it's an invasion. Welcome to 62 to Freedom. Y'all been watching my channel and you came to take my beat. Welcome to 62 to Freedom. And this is the third day of brownouts. You know, they, it comes on, it goes off, it comes on, it goes off. Uh, thank goodness, you know, I got a, uh, I can afford a generator. And uh, I don't know how long a generator is going to last, but I cannot run the whole house. So this house kind of keeps me on my toes. You know, you got the well system, the, I don't know, the foot valve. You know, the first well people we got dug down, like, uh, you know, way down there to the bottom of the well, right? You can't dig too deep. You can dig a certain depth here, get past the groundwater, and get to the spring water. But if you go too deep beyond the spring water, you get to salt water. So they knew what this is to dig. So they dug down there, but they capped the well 10 feet underground. You know, they put the tubes down there. It's a, uh, not one of those little, uh, you know, where they just drill a hole with water and they put the submersible, little skinny submersible pump in there. They don't last around here. They get clogged up quick around here because it just doesn't work. So, mine is like one of the big wells like you see in the old cowboy movies where they got the, uh, they got the little uh, Bayacubo or the, uh, they got the little gazebo over top of it and they crank the bucket down there. That's the kind of well I got. It's big, but they don't do that here. They do put these little hand pumps on there, you know, like you see it in the later cowboy movies. Anyway, instead of lowering the bucket, they went to the hand pump. So that's what it is. And then concrete, I don't know if you saw the video, but then concrete, like those big water, water concrete sections, they put like six of those on there or whatever, how many, I can't remember. And uh, they capped it like 10 feet underground. So now the foot valve is leaking. <laughs> so, you know, in the second well, we just put those sections all the way till it got one section out of the ground. So that uh, it's easier to service. All you gotta do is take the lid off of it. But the lid of the first well is 10 feet underground, man. I don't know, I don't know why I let them do that because I don't know. I really just was glad that we got well, we hit water, it was fresh, and we were able to continue on with the build of the house. But reflecting back, it was a bad decision. The second well is better, but the first well produces more water faster. It was dug in a drought, and the other one was dug when there was no drought. So they hit equal water at different distances because there was a drought on number one well and not a drought on number two well. So now that keeps me on my toes, uh, you know, and we're running out of, you know, we're gonna have a brownouts. They say that uh, George, my worker out here, he's working today. This is payday for him, by the way. I gotta figure out his pay. Anyway. Uh, he told me they said something's wrong with the power station down there. So, that's the story that's going on right now. The power's on right now, but it stayed off and the generator helped for uh, five hours. Actually, it was like four and a half hours. And uh, one of my subscribers said after five hours of runtime, I should turn it off and let it cool down. So, after four and a half hours to be safe, last night and... To, and to be a little bit early, now it was four hours, after four hours, I wanted to let it, I turned it off and was letting it cool down so that I could run it for five more hours and catch some sleep before I had to get up at three o'clock in the morning and let it cool down again. Ah. 
But while I was waiting, the electric came back on, so about 10 o'clock at night. So then I went back down there, back down to let it run slow, let it cool off for a minute. And then after that, I switched everything back. I turned the generator off and switched everything back to Antico, which would be, you know, electric company. And uh, so after I did that, and then I came back and got all the, uh, you know, turned the main breakers on up and down in the substation. We turned that all back on. And then uh, we went to sleep, turned the ACs on, cooled the room off, went to sleep. And then about one o'clock in the morning or so, the electricity went off again. And I didn't wake up till four, though. I heard that it went off at one or something like that, but I didn't wake up. It was past my bedtime. I didn't finish the story. I got the generator going again this morning. And then the power came back on. So now we're on Antico power. We're on the uh, city power. Let's go. Bam, bam. If you do subscribe, subscribe. Bam, bam. Might be hard to see in the bright sunshine, but <clears throat> some of the river water is pushed up on the shore. That's what makes it change that color. It's brackish. The turquoise color near the shore. I don't think it's showing up in your when you screen, but it's a big difference between the color on the shore and out deep. You might be able to see it. That's a fast uh, little boat right there. Woo! He's gonna go get him some fish. Is continue to get work on. He's working there. It's a lot for one person. See, he's fixing to fix that corner right there. That's the piece of steel he put on there to get a straight, smooth line, a true line. Clamp it on there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he's a good worker, he's got some skills. So, I guess that boat's just parked. George told me that uh, that guy lives right down there on the peninsula down there that owns that boat. So, I guess where he parks at. Wow, there's some nice colors today. <laughs> Wait, oh, go there. I'm wrong way. The ride on the reading. Did you get a ride on the reading? Wait, wait. Hi. Okay. I'm not gonna bother you. Let's get a good picture of you. Yeah. What are you gonna say? You say you wanna be a YouTube star, huh? Oh. Not me. <laughs> I just got me for a YouTube friend. You're gonna be the star, not me. Okay? Just checking out the fishing village next to me. There's a lot of boats through here. George was just telling me that Bugasol, I was wondering why all the boats were blue. Bugasol's color is blue. So the Coast Guard knows that they see you got a blue boat. Uh, you're from Bugasong and you got a certain amount you pay for the license. But if you're not from Bugasong, you got you got to pay a higher fee 
if you fish in these waters from somewhere else. So I didn't know any all, any of that at all until today. So that's why every one of these boats along here are blue, except for a couple of them. Got a green one right there. I imagine that's just a pleasure boat. So if you got a pleasure boat, you just can't have any fish aboard, or you know, there's a hefty fine, I don't know, will they take your boat? I don't think they can take it right then. <laughs> Leave you bobbing in the water. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll tell you a little exit I just had. I went and got some WD-40 and some Scotch Sprite here and I was, see I was trying to rust off. I already did a couple of them. See how it look good it looks now? I just Scotch Sprite it WD-40. But I was walking down the edge here to get, to uh, reach this one up here. And I walked right off the edge of this steps, right down onto them rocks. And these rocks were, George had them out a little bit out there. I really landed right there, but the rocks were there. And the only thing damage I got was, you know, my foot is bleeding a little bit right there. So I don't know. That rebar also was sticking up straight out and I ripped my pants. These are my favorite pants too, man. Damn, Ocean Pacific. I like these ones cause they're so thin. I'm gonna have to go find me some thin short. Anyway, these, I fell on them big rocks were out here and I fell right on them. And I hit my head, luckily. <laughs> luckily I hit my head and nothing happened. So you see the difference where I, I polished it with this, uh, just a regular old jump and the difference between that one, which I'm getting ready to do, and that one. So they need some protecting. I did this gate a while back, but it's dirty right now from sanding. That is just nothing. That's nothing right there. That's not solid or nothing. It's just uh, skim coat dust. So, uh, it's holding up pretty good from where I sanded it last time and put some WD-40 on it. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to polish this some more. Wow, my hip hurts. If uh, Bugasong had a good masseuse, I would go, I'd go to Bugasong to a masseuse right now and get a massage, but... I had to ride all the way to San Jose to get a decent massage. I'm not gonna do that. So, I just massaged myself. 